Welcome to Going In Deep. I'm Isaac Perry. And I'm Jay Blay. And brought to you by Coca-Cola. That's all. Thank you. So, today on the show, we have people like Justin Bieber. Uh, we've got the Ghost Hunter. Matt Ghost is coming on. Uh, also, we have the cast from Harry Potter and such movies as that. Also, starring Michael Bay. Yeah, Michael Bay. That, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, he's coming in to talk about Transformers, his, his obsession with Transformers and Transformers 3. So yeah. it's, it's going to be good times up in here. I yeah, don't know. that's coming out pretty soon, eh, Transformers 3? I doubt it because the second one just came out not too long ago, but you can think what you want on that subject. I don't know. Which one are you most excited to see? Well, I just I already saw Transformers 2, so... No, 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 no. Which which person? Oh, I see. Um, which movie? You've I'd, already seen I would have to say the Harry Potter cast. Really? And yeah. why is that? You're a fan of Harry Potter? Like yeah. his Hogwarts scarfs and such? Yeah, I guess. Those are kind of lame, I'm not going to lie. But um, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to the Bieber interview. I don't know. What do you think about that? I don't know. I think it might be pretty interesting, you know? Young Canadian kid, yeah, I guess. Little, yeah, but he's pretty much American. He lives there now, yeah, right? Yeah, that's I don't, true. I'm not too sure. I'll have to ask him about his city. He's a traitor. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't even think he comes to Canada that much anymore, but who knows? So he I don't was know. just here for the, what is it, um, Much Music Awards? Yeah, right, the, the Much Music Awards. Uh, some of our cast was actually there, I believe, with uh, like Drake and people were all hanging out in yep. the Much Music Lounge after party sounds kind of cool yep. i i couldn't make it though they sent me a couple invites i wasn't able to make it yeah you got other stuff going on eh? yeah just too much going on with the show and such but it's okay no big deal understandable uh we're gonna cut to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back see you soon but then we just keep talking and making it look like we're busy and stuff so. <laughs> can fit in one of these dog houses, so if you have a big dog, it's sure to fit in here. I don't know about getting out, though. It's as easy as that. You can even put two dog houses together and make neighbors. For every $5, you get more siding. Somebody added $20 to this dog house. Whoa! Two lavish sidings. This person's a happy dog. Oh. Call this number. Get next lumber! It's hard getting the money to get workers in to make these dog houses. You buy dog house now! Hi, I'm Frank DeMilo. You can order your premium dog houses online. We're on the interwebs at www.goodassdoghouses.com. Do you want me to? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Actually, no, because the mic yeah. is the only hard part about that. Be fashionable, be alive! Go! Do your banking. Snuggies are the way to play it safe without giving up your morals or hobbies. Get your Snuggie today for $10.99. The same price as two 2 by 4s and a box of matches. Snuggie, buy yours today. Thank you, thank you. So welcome back to Going Deep. I'm here with Justin Bieber. Flew in all the way from Los Angeles or wherever he hails from in the States. Yep. That's great. So, um, actually, uh, me and my co host, we were wondering are you still Canadian citizen or did you transfer over to America? Oh, yeah, I'm all about Canada. You know, Canadian music scene. Represent. You've been here like twice in the past year, though. I don't, I don't know why. If you're so into Canadian music, why aren't you here more? Um, because Canada sucks. We don't have Well, wow, okay. Girls. Different subject on that matter, because I don't really care to see eye to eye with you on that subject. But um, 
I don't know. What do you What do you think of your fans? Because we've got some testimonials on here. So I don't know. What do you What do you think of your fans? Oh, I have lots of great fans. You know, I get new gifts from all my fans, the young ones and the old ones. The old ones. What and What kind of age group? Are we looking at for uh, your fans? Do you think? I've got a really mature fan base, you know, like really, say like eighteen to thirty. Because I'd say probably like eight to twelve, little tiny girls, and that's it. Well, I think you're wrong. Uh, for your information, don't I don't think I am. I think that's pretty obvious. This one man, he must be like fifty-four or something. Keeps, doesn't keeps doesn't make it average. To, I think that's kind of abnormal. Me. Actually, to be honest, In, like, quite frank with you stuff. on that one. I don't think that is very healthy age to be listening to your music at. But okay, if you're into that, I don't know, whatever. But uh, we're gonna go see some testimonials about why Mr. Bieber is the way he is. So see you after the break. And then it's gone. I'm here today asking real people what they think of teen sensation Justin Bieber. What do you think? I think he sucks. I hate him. His hair is so smooth. How do you feel about Jeff? I think he can't sing. It sounds like a girl. He has a nice smile. He's got heart looking. Justin Bieber, I have so many posters of him on my wall. I have every song he's ever made, and I know all the lyrics to his songs. Mm. He's cute, but I personally don't like him. I have like oh. songs, but I don't like him. <laughs> he's a pretty boy. So, uh, that, was, that was interesting. Some interesting comments on there. Yep. See, you. everyone loves me. Yeah. You um, love me. Apparently, I do. I love you too. They were giving out money, but. I don't think we should talk about that right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, a lot of people, they like your hair. I don't know. How much time do you spend doing your hair? Cause I'd say like the average amount, like, you know, an hour and a half or an so. An hour and a half you find average for oh, yeah. the typical 15-year-old man? Yeah. I would definitely. say that's not average. I spend a lot of time, and I spend like five or ten minutes Maybe, if that. Well, you're not quite as fabulous as me. Apparently not. I don't have all these screaming little girls as fans and around me man, all the time. The 54 year old man. He the is a really big fan. Old man. He's buying me things like teddy bears with eyes that glitter. It's strange how you yeah, like him so much, but um, in my bedroom. we're actually going to show your new uh, your new music video. So let's check that out. Okay, well that was that was kind of an interesting video. There was a lot going on related to the whole stalking issue. But um, thank you for coming on, Mr. Beaver. And we're gonna take a quick break. We'll see you after this short message. So yeah, thanks. We'll see you. See you later. Leave you guys this book.
tell just by looking at them? Hey, money, money. Hey! Oh, hookers. Anyways, a lot of people still practice safe sex. Take Charlotte, for example. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, she must be safe. Hey, guys, want to hang out tonight? All too kind. Welcome back to Going Deep. I'm here with Matt Ghost off his uh, his new set for Ghost Hunters. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, so the interesting thing about this film is people actually die. It's not fake. No. Nope. You've literally gone through crew members. Several. How many total? Because you've you've had what three hundred and seventy or so episodes around there. Yeah, and we've gone through two hundred cast members. Two hundred. As of last week. As of last week. Yeah. Wow. So, just every every so episodes you just go through, or do you go through them all at once, like a couple? Because uh, this one you go through like what two or three, yeah, right? Yeah, we went through two this last two. episode. Two. Yeah. So it's just when you deal with those big yeah, ghosts or they, something uh, like that. They sign up for the big game and they can't handle it. That's crazy. So uh, we're actually going to cut to that movie. We'll see what it's all about. Check it out. Welcome to a new episode of Ghost Hunters. Yeah, let's go that way, Matt. Oh, the flashlight dead. It died. Can't see anything in this camera. The infrared's not picking anything up. I, oh, it's it. Behind you. Behind you. Watch out. Watch out. I don't see anything. Oh. I feel back. surrounded and naked. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, God. We go this way. You think it's an animal? Because we don't believe in ghosts. Where is he? Where is he? It's probably an animal. I would say a bobcat. Are you in here with us? Are you here, ghost? Oh, jeez. Oh, he keeps moving. I think it's a bear in the studio with Governor Simcoe. Check the dog houses, Matt. Grizzly Adams. What the hell? Where is it? Grizzly Adams? I think he's trying to tell us his name. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. 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 Oh my Go in the fetal position! Ah! Oh, oh. The cameraman's dead. I'm so scared right now. I, the, the ghost has killed my cameraman, and I can't find AJ. AJ! AJ! Oh, God, what time is it? It must be like three hours later. Jan is dead. I think the ghost is still here? Oh, the camera. Oh, it's totally broken. What is that? Garbage can. AJ? AJ, are you here? Is that, is that AJ? AJ, what are you doing in the corner? Welcome back. That was, uh, that was an interesting clip there. 
Did you see see the cameraman fall, smashed his face in the ground, and died? <laughs> yeah, it's comical, I guess. Um, so you brought in these uh, these instruments that you use with you. Yeah. Can you explain a... which uh, which does what? This actually captures the ghost. Uh, okay, there we go. Got it. That'll capture a ghost. Okay, it looks a little broken and cheap nope, there. No, nope. no, it's a uh, couple That's thousand dollars. Couple that. Th really, because yeah. it's got there's literally tape holding in the battery, right? There's no backing. There's yeah, batteries hanging uh, out of this. That place, uh, the part that replaces that. Costs and the enough. clicker, it doesn't work. It's top of the line. Okay, <laughs> so what is what does this do? This is uh, where we transfer the ghost into. That'll, it's uh, a water bottle. Nope, it's a ghost containment unit. It literally says TV Kojiko right on it. Yep, because uh, that's our sponsor, TV, TV Kojiko. That's the people that film I for don't us. believe you. I feel like you just picked up one of their free water bottles, but okay. So what, what about this other stuff? So, I th think I let a ghost out. <laughs> there might there might be a ghost in here. We should we should probably check. This is uh, infrared glasses. Those are safety glasses. Now, if you see in the light, you can see the infrared. It's like That's a rainbow. Infrared. Okay. okay, I suppose they they just look cheap infrared. to me. They're literally those like twenty five cent glasses. No, in infrared. Okay. I can see ghosts in, well, in what about what about this thing? Uh, That's our uh, EM. Your, your EM. I don't know how it works. Because uh, it just looks like a cell phone. Oh. We got to go. That in literally, there. I did let it out. That I literally out. says text messages right there. That says all calls. I it, we let out a we let out a ghost when I opened the, the TV Kojiko bottle. I you, you don't, might want to leave. This is going to get ugly. I don't believe you at all cuz that I'm reading a 6. There's what? A 6 out of 10. That's what I'm getting. It's getting a little crazy in here. I think we're going to cut to commercial. Uh, we'll see you after the break. It's ghosts. Yeah. Ghosts and such. Still here with uh, Matt Ghost. It was it was good stuff. All of the uh, all of the items you use. While well, you were gone, I captured that ghost again in the in the bottle. Good thing, good thing. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna take a quick look at the other movie you're in, and that's the Harry Potter movie. So, ah, yeah. so let's check that out. Wake up, Potter! Yes, Uncle Vernon! Mail? I never get mail. What's this? You're a wizard, Harry? What? A wizard and a thumping good one, too! 
Come with me to Hogwarts, and I can treat you. I am Hagrid, keeper of keys. Diagon Alley! The dark times there, dark times. Some wizards go so damn bad, and this one guy. I can't even spell it because it's so terrible. Oh my gosh, I can't speak his name. Oh my, my. And you know, he came to your house and he killed your parents, but he couldn't kill you. You're the boy that lived. Key, please. Stand back. Vault 713. Hogwarts Express! Sorry, chugga, chugga, chugga! Go. Not Slytherin. Better be Gryffindor! Yay! I'm trying to help Slytherin! Yeah! Whoa! Green guys was broken into. Me and Hagrid were there. Hey! Hey! hey. Oh. Come back! What's the matter, Paul? Come beat me on your reach! Come back! Ah. I am the seeker! The door was locked. For a good reason. Ah! Ah! Three-headed dog! Ah! Troll! in the dungeon! I thought you wanted to know! Ah! Oh! has caught the golden snitch. Gryffindor receives 150 points. Gryffindor wins! Wrong! <laughs> Happy Christmas, Harry. I never get gifts. What's this? That's an invisibility clip. What? Hagrid! What's the Philosopher's Stone? Nah, don't be meddling in businesses. You shouldn't be meddling in. The Philosopher's Stone is Dumbledore's and Nicholas the Mouse business only. <laughs> Darn it! I should have told you that! Ah! To the library! Restricted section! I'm in the restricted section! <laughs> Philosopher's Stone! It makes you a mortal! You were all out late last night in the Forbidden Forest. And for that, you all four of you will be receiving detention tomorrow with Hagrid and Mr. Filch. Where? The Forbidden Forest! <laughs> ah, even more blood! Ah! It's already sleeping! Professor Quirrell? Nah, Harry Potter! You have what I seek, I believe, no? Huh? You got that? Ooh. Ah! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Ah! Ooh! Uh, master! Yeah. Welcome back to Going Deep. I'm here with the uh, the cast of that movie. Well, some of them at least. Uh, we've got uh, Hermione over there. We've got the uh, the Vault Elf or something. Uh, I don't I don't Goblin. know what. Segoblin. Segobian. The Vault Segobian. Goblin. Gob Goblin. Goblin. Okay. And we've got Professor Plum. The Quirrell. I don't like that name. So. I don't know. That was that was an interesting movie. I, Thank you. I enjoyed it. I don't, I don't know. Like, did you have to spend a lot on it or? Uh, no. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars to make a movie. That's true. That's incredible. What did you spend this twenty dollars on? This guy. That guy. Yeah. That guy. The. The goblin. What do you mean you spent it on him? Like. He's an immigrant worker. From, immigrant. Uh, Mexico. Oh, I say. No say. <laughs> Okay. Green card. <laughs> How, does he have a green card? No, no. say. He's no. Married the director. So, so how he's... how did you get him in in here? How'd you get him into Canada? I I went over. Oh, did you use the the cloak from that movie? Is we ha we have an invisibility cloak. It so actually would, worked. Yeah. That's what you. Well, can I see it? Do you have it on you? Monsieur. See. Si. Cloak. 
Let's see. Demonstration? <laughs> Demonstration, Demonstration yes, yes. Show us your wiener schnitzel. Wow, brilliant. Yeah. Well, 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 Where'd we are getting. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? Where is he? <laughs> He's hiding. Wow. He's around here somewhere. It's just. See, this is a quality product made in Taiwan. I can see how you got. You probably just walked across the border. Yep. Look, his tongue is coming through. Incredible. That's how invisible it is. It's just, it just looks like a floating tongue, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even know what to say to that. That's, where did you get one of those? Uh, uh, it's custom built. Custom built. Taiwan. And <laughs> we're going to have them available for sale soon. Okay. How much do those range from? Because oh, I, hear, I hear you only sell them in pesos, right? Uh, like yeah, the pesos. It's about uh, four four thousand pesos. Four thousand pesos for okay. What? Quattro. Quattro. I don't know what that means. What? I he, think he, yeah. he doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to talk apparently. Okay, so four thousand or whatever pesos. How much does that translate into Canadian um, dollars? Because isn't the peso worth like nothing? Uh, Thirty-five cents. Thirty-five cents. So um, where is my uh, check? Your what? My check to be on the show. We don't pay people to come on this show. It's we. This is volunteer work. My my agent informed us. Yeah. That we would be being paid to be on the show. That's there what we is got from there it. is no <laughs> such thing happening here. A okay. A square left. He's okay. Got the gun out. Listen. Uh, okay. Yeah. Come on out. Come on out. I don't. I don't <laughs> think. I don't think Just this is. Uh, money and we don't have to release the Mexican. I don't money. know if I'm the. <laughs> he's Mexican. Okay. Um. I don't think. Just put the gun down. I don't think we can do. Put the can, gun down. Do we? Senor! Do we even have Senor! security? I, I don't know. Down. Calm down, man. Just, just give us the money. Senor, we, what are you doing? We, we can leave. We don't even make that much money. Okay, we're going to cut to commercial right now. So, we'll see you after the break. Senor. Welcome back. After a uh, a brief uh, encounter with the uh, with the police, I, I think we've got that uh, we've got that down pat. But um, now I'm going to show a quick uh, quick trailer for the new movie I'm starring in, and then after that we'll have Michael Bay on here. So stick around.
Amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm a brilliant actor, if, if I do say so myself. Um, but we're going to cut to a quick commercial break, get security all tight up in here, get some people out, and I'll see you after the break. Oh, this? It's just ball in a cup. Mexico's favorite pastime, next to gang violence. Whoa! Would you like to give it a try? What? I... Oh, miss. Good thing this ball is attached to this string, which is attached to the cup. Thank you for that amazing applause and that last one. I'm here with uh, Michael Bay, just off the set of Transformers, which we'll, we will be showing eventually. Um, but yeah, just, just brilliant stuff with the whole Transformers series. Uh, I don't know, you're a big Transformers fan, right? Yep. Uh, please take those off. Those Take, take them off. Thank you. Okay, so with these uh, these Transformers movies, uh, you're, you've taken a series that really had like a wide fan base of really nerdy kind of like core audience, and you expanded it to a really wide audience. But uh, you've lost some of those those core fans. I don't I don't know. What do you have to say to that? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Well, the worst part is getting. The is someone threatening to kill me because of Starscream's look? Worst thing that happened. Can you explain about that? Yep, I got a death threat. You got a death threat. Because Starscream looked like an insect. Because <laughs> does he? I don't. I don't know. I always thought that that other, the little scorpion one, looked like an insect. Well, to be that, honest. Well, he looks like an insect in the original, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna check out that clip and come right back. Cool. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it comes from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born.
Amazing, amazing movie. I know. It is brilliant. Probably, probably the best one yet. Um, so, what uh, you were saying something about uh, technology and how Transformers have given us all our uh, all our modern technologies. Can you expand upon that? Yeah. Well, the Transformers came to Earth millions of years ago, and now they scanned our vehicles, and most of vehicles came because they transformed into it, and that's how they work. And then now, because of that, we can build off of that. I don't think that's how, how it works. I think you have it backwards. No, no, no. I'm telling that exact truth. Why would they that's come here millions of years ago? And like, Because the fallen... Cause, yeah, but we hadn't built them millions of years ago. Yeah, but the fallen wanted to destroy this planet millions of years ago. Sounds crazy. They destroyed the planet. And they tried. They failed. They failed. The Prime stopped them. The Prime stopped them. Yep. You're sounding crazy right now. I don't understand. Well, like, why... Why this has happened? I don't know. Maybe because the Decepticons—they they just want us all dead. They, the Autobot, why, why do they hate us so much? Because they hate all living life except for themselves. But the Autobots are the ones um, giving us, the, um, helping us out because they want to help us fight back. That uh, you're talking crazy right now. No, These not. are robots. They don't feel emotion. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Okay, we can we can go back and forth all day on this because they don't. But, um, like, why, why are they at Earth? Don't they have their own planet or something where humans make them? No, no. Their planet was destroyed. Their planet was destroyed. The so how, so where, where are the humans that are making these things? The humans don't make them. They're that's, made. That's not how robots work. They were made by Primus, which is created by the one, and ulti um, which is created by the one that all beating that created a Munichron and his younger brother Primus. Primus is Cybertron, which is their home planet. Which where where the humans make them in factories because no. they're robots. <laughs> yeah, no. That's that's how robots work. They're made by Energon. I would like to disagree on that, but we're going to cut to commercial. Thanks for coming in. See you after the break. Cranberry juice! Man, this one time uh, I was sitting at home and it was really hot day. It was like... 37 degrees, and uh... Minute Maid Cranberry Juice! I found this in my fridge. I found this. This this little con container right here. This one can was the only thing left in my house. Put it in a big cup of water, and I said, wow, Minute Maid ah, Cranberry Juice ah. just blows my mind. Minute Maid Cranberry Juice! Find it in your local Sobeys today! You wanna be a cool kid? We're aviators, entering cranberry juice. Minute Maid. Drink your cranberry juice! Mama says! I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. You could cut ties with all the lives that you've been living in. And if you do not want to see me again, I would understand. difference be a friend save a life that was a pretty pretty weak weak applause people thank you for that so I'm back with my co-host Jay to uh, to talk about this stuff uh, I don't know what do you think of Michael Bay I thought he was pretty uh, interesting pretty arrogant in my opinion putting yeah. on the sunglasses in the middle there's no these lights aren't even that bright. I know. Is well, I guess he might have some kind of something with his eyes going on. I don't think so. I don't believe a word you're saying. But He's just being completely rude, I guess. Yeah. Is what your opinion is, right? What I'm implying by this, and talking about like how transformers are made by other transformers, like. Well, I don't, I don't think that's even possible. I don't know. Like, well, how do you expect that we got here? Like, how did how did that happen? Well, we're, yeah. we're people. We're animals. We evolve. We come from little bacteria. Like, what do they come from? A little bolt that changes? Like, that doesn't even yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah, add up. You, you make a good multiple, point. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, also, what I got here is um, got the little device that Matt left. Uh, apparently, it's for reading ghosts or something. You just 
click a button and it tells you it's, it's saying there's a ghost in here. I don't know. He said he got rid of it and put it back in the bottle, but I I think it's just a, like it's got contacts in here. It's got to be just a little cell phone. Literally, it says Telus on it, LG. Maybe it's like some kind of like phone. trans transformer or something like that. Uh, what do you mean transform? Like I literally have a BlackBerry with the exact same things on it. Like, ooh, there's a ghost in here. I don't. I don't know. Like, what's that? It, it says, says searching. searching for service. Searching for service. There's no bars in here. Okay. Oh, uh, it says there's. Well, it's we're, reading a ghost. It says right lie. there. Look. No, you're lying. So we're gonna cut to commercial, and we'll be right back. That's, that's Do you need a cheap car? Does your ex-wife take your paycheck every month? Then come on down to Simcoe's parking lot. We've got cars, cars, cars. Does the car you want have an open window? We'll give you a jimmy. Is the window not open? We'll smash it and give you $500 cash back. We got red cars, blue cars, green cars, black cars. Cars, cars, cars. Want this mini? I'll give it to you for 700 Just pick it up before the end of school. Don't know how to hotwire a car? I'm sure we can figure it out. At Simcoe's parking lot, all cars are under $1,000 or I'll make it that way. Do you know how to pick a car lock? I'll give you two for the price of one. Come on down to Simcoe's parking lot where the cars are cheap and the girls are hot. I really think we should we should get in some new clappers. We don't we don't have very good Yeah, but ones. look at it, we don't really have that big of an audience yet. We're just starting out. Let's not mention that part. But um we're we're pretty much done, I would say, for the show. Thanks for thanks for coming out. We had a we had a good time. Thanks for supporting us. I'd like to say hi to my my dad and my sister and just just give props to Simca. So Thanks for hosting our show. Good night. We'll see you. Keep your stick on the ice. But pretty much stay stay fresh, San Diego.